Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this a bit overlooked detail in interior design and that is this wall trim and we're going to be modeling it in Revit architecture. Now this is not only in some cases very aesthetically pleasing but it also serves a function when it's between a floor and a wall, this kind of an angled trim, it can hide the connection between the floor and the wall and because usually all the panels of the floor are kind of sloppy around the edges this covers that up and it can even even cover some installations that can be behind perhaps some wires or so and on the ceilings it's usually just for aesthetic purposes and it's usually built out of molded gypsum and it it can look very nice especially in some old school style objects or projects but before we get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I have this little room in Revit and it's just something we're going to be using for this project and it's just four walls, a couple of floors and some windows and a door. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on wireframe mode over here because it's easier to work on this in 3D and like this we can see everything that's on the interior of this little room. Okay, so these interior trim pieces will be modeled as in-place families and to create them we need to go here to the architecture tab, open up this component drop menu and choose model in place. So here I'm just going to choose generic model because I don't know really how to categorize this so I'm just going to choose that one and let's first do the floor trim. Now you want this to be able to change whenever you move around the walls inside of your house or the doors so how do you do that? First you need to set the work plane and it should be at level 1 for the floor so just go OK and now we need to start creating it and we're going to create it as a sweep so just select sweep and you go sketch path and you're going to be using pick lines and you're going to be selecting the inside faces of these walls and when you pick a face you just need to lock it in place pick this one lock it in place pick this one lock it in place and the last one and lock it in place now here we have a door and we don't really want this trim to be going over the door or else people would kind of fall over it and that wouldn't really be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the split tool, so just SL is the shortcut, and split this line and then I'm going to just move this a bit here and move this a bit there and now we need to kind of lock it to the door so it would change along with the door. So you just use the align tool, you select this outside edge of the door frame, you select it and then you select this point over here and then you lock it in place. You go over here, again, select this outside of the frame, select this point, lock it in place. Okay, so once you have this, everything is now parametric, so whenever you start moving around either the walls or the door, the trim will move along with it. So I'm just going to go to Modify, go Finish over here, and now let's go into Edit Profile to create our trim piece. So this will be just a simple trim piece made out of wood, so let's go, I don't know, 60 millimeters up and maybe 40 down. Let's try something like an arc. Oops, an arc. Yeah, kind of like that, 45 degrees. Make it go up a bit. I don't know, make some piece from here to here. And then basically call, close it with an arc kind of like that and now let's just use trim and extend to trim everything in place and let's say this looks quite alright so just one more thing these trim pieces usually have a 45 degree line over here kind of a cut in case you want to hide some wires underneath so I'm just going to create that kind of like this and then let's just trim it in place okay this looks real good so I'm just going to go finish finish and there you go, so we have our trim piece and we can just finish model and if we select one of these walls and let's try to move it, if we move the wall you can see the trim piece moves along with it. So that's good and if we decide to move the door around, the trim as you can see will follow the door. That is very important as well. Okay, so let's do the trim 
up here on the ceiling so to do that you need to go again architecture open component and model in place and I'm just going to go here to generic model again okay and now you're probably thinking go to level 2 but you can't really go to level 2 because as you probably remember level 2 is kind of this top part and we need to place it on the ceiling so that's this bottom face of this of this floor slab so to do that I'm just going to go here to set pick a plane go OK and then pick this bottom plane yeah like that pick it and then go again sweep sketch path go here pick lines and then again pick these interior floors just lock everything in place pick this one lock it in place pick this one lock it in place and the last one and here you don't have to make any spaces for the door because this is kind of continuous along the ceiling and let's just go finish and let's edit the profile so I'm going to do something like I don't know something like this here then let's do a 45 degree kind of like that let's perhaps go inside a bit then create another arc at 45 perhaps something like I don't know something like that it looks like a finger kind of pointing in that direction but anyway and you can leave here kind of an angle if you want to put some installations in the ceiling but usually this it's not done like this so, so you can just leave it like that and maybe let's just extend this a bit perhaps or extend that a bit just to make it a bit different so let's okay we have a warning Undrawing elements and let's connect this over here yeah okay so it's a bit bigger now and let's just set go just finish and set the material so just go here to gypsum wallboard okay and just go finish with this and let's select this one and change its material as well so just go edit in place select it change the material so now it's this wallboard but let's use this wood material okay now cancel let's just find it over here wood okay here we go so just go okay finish and let's create a camera and test everything out so I'm just going to go here to camera place it all the way in this angle extend it like so maybe extend it a little bit here okay so we can see our trim down here right? we can see our upper trim and let's just render to see the final result so just type double R for render go hit render wait for a second and everything is black okay so how do you fix this you go to adjust exposure and you just override this brightness go apply yeah maybe even brighter apply yeah that looks good so go OK and now as you can see we have our trim over here and we have our upper trim over here and as you can see it looks a lot more realistic when you add these little interior details so just adding a bunch of these details will make your interior renders look amazing okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day